Welcome to Grow Overload. I'm Anthony, and let's talk a little bit about Roger Kadori leaving Intel. Uh, Pat Gelsinger uh, came out and tweeted here. Let me uh, go over here. And I got this. Uh, I, I saw it online, but Video Cards had a nice article, so I'm going to use uh, them and post a link in the comments below. But Pat Gelsinger said, you know, thank you for your many contributions to Intel tech and architecture, especially with high-performance graphics that helped bring out three new product lines in 2022. Wishing you success at your new software company and generating AI for gaming and media entertainment. And it's a lot of, you know, Raj has been into is a lot of media and entertainment stuff, even when he was in the AMD, too. So that might be, you know, where his focus is. But, um... I don't know, you kind of saw some rifts last year, so I don't know if there was something between Pat Gelsinger and Raja at Intel, I don't know if there was, you know, infighting or whatever else, but what is happening now is that AXG has now lost the chief architect and the executive vice president of that group, right? And... You know, I think if Pat Gelsinger wanted to keep him around, he probably would have tried to if that if he thought the AXG group really needed him around, right? There, there. While other people may hold um, Roger Kadori in very high regard, I have mixed feelings about Roger Kadori. While he put forth some great stuff at like ATI. Um, seemingly it, it hasn't been as rock solid in the later years and I don't know what that's from right there's that's just what I'm kind of seeing right we see some struggles with um, at Radeon at the end with Vega we saw some struggles with um, Alchemist especially on the software side and in each of those and there are some uh, there are some downsides to probably what Pat was looking at overall, and if Pat wants to keep this around at Intel, he has got to make some tough decisions, right? I I don't. There's been rumors around that you know AXG isn't going to have really a lot of high performance graphics cards in the desktop arena in the near future. Now maybe they come back to it, but that kind of makes some sense, right? If you're um, financials aren't exactly extremely sound, right? A lot of e e uh, economic issues are happening at this time. So there are going to be tough decisions that Pat has to make, and maybe this is one of them. Maybe there was, you know, other reasons too. But this is one of those where, you know, it's been five years. The chapter did not turn out the way I think either of them wanted it to. And, you know, Intel or Raja, and this is the end of the road, and Raja will go on to something else, which it'll be, it'll be interesting, you know, what he does, because, you know, he says about generate AI for gaming, media, and entertainment. So that, that is an interesting little path. I'll be keeping watch on that, because that's something I'm interested too. But, um, yeah, this is, this is a... This is an interesting one just to see. I, I think this is the first start of AXG. I don't know if they're gonna, Intel's going to disappear. It, you know, Intel, uh, back when Intel said they're bringing back graphics card, I had my concerns because it's been a kind of thing of Intel to kill it. But I think you kind of need it, especially in the high-performance uh, world where you need a uh, GPU acceleration at some level. Intel already has FPGAs and that sort of thing. So if they can get that along with the, you know, their CPUs, they have a platform where they can go in and sell the high-performance computing. Will that translate into a desktop graphics card these days? I don't know. That's that is a tough one to really hone in on. You know, if AXG, I I, I think of it this way: if AXG is able to generate enough revenue on their high-performance stuff, maybe they go back through and release and get after a high-end graphics card but that only works if they keep the software up and so if they can keep the software going that is good news if they kind of lay off on their drivers for the desktop that is not a good sign so the, I think that it almost kind of hinges on the driver on where on how the driver is maintained going forward so 
Um, with that, that's all I had on this, on the Pat Gelsinger stuff, or, and Roger Dory and Intel, and this parting of ways. Um, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. What direction do you think Intel should be going? And do you hope that AXG actually stays around? I'd love to see more competition. I just have my uh, concerns on what Intel is actually going to be doing in the long run. So um, as much as I like competition, I want it to go, you know, at some point you have to look at their bottom line of things. And if they're going to make cuts, it might be the cut that they're going to make. So let me know what your comments are in the comments below and don't forget to do the normal youtube stuff like subscribe hit the bell icon all that fun stuff and until next time god bless and don't forget to like share and subscribe